Okay, so we are given the top view of a old style plan for a house and we have a couple of questions that follow. So identify the type of scale used in this floor plan. So our scale is given here at the bottom here and we notice it is a number scale. Another name for a number scale is the ratio scale. The reason why it's called ratio scale, if you notice, there is two dots there. So it's written in the form of a ratio. Okay, explain what is meant by scale outlined in question 10.1. So if you are saying one is to 200, that's given there. It means one unit on the map is equal to 200 units on the ground. How many rooms does the plan have including the pantry and server but excluding the passages? Okay, so if we had to use the rooms in this particular layout, we have one, we have two here, three, four is the kitchen there, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 rooms. Okay, 10.4, give the general direction of the bedroom 2 from the study. So let's locate these two places. We have the study that's over here and bedroom 2 is right there. What's also important for us to look at the cardinal points right and we notice that our arrow faces down this means that the north is now down so our south will be here right our west will be here and east will be here right so if you look at the cardinal points like that so keep this in mind and also what's important is they're mentioning that we are standing basically by the study so it's from the study what's the direction of bedroom 2 that means we are standing at the study so this would mean if we had to go up up in our foot motion this would be we're moving south but also from the south we are moving east so basically it's southeast and that becomes our direction southeast what is the probability that the kitchen will receive the sunlight during sunrise? Now, we just, just now we spoke about the cardinal points. And remember, our north, south, west, and east. This would be the cardinal points because that faces down. The north faces down. So remember, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So... That means the sun will rise in this part, which is the east, and will set on this part. So the question is speaking about the sunrise. So will the kitchen, let's locate the kitchen. The kitchen is right over there. So will the kitchen be getting sunlight at the sunrise? So we notice that the kitchen is on the opposite direction than the sunrise. So they want the probability. So the probability will be 0%. Okay, so we're given the top view of a modernized floor plan for our house. And the first question tells us to identify the type of scale and give one advantage for the scale. So the only mistake here is this portion here was actually supposed to be here so that normally shows us how that bar represents how much of a distance so in this case here they want us to identify it so this is known as a bar scale okay and the advantage of this is basically this scale here will increase or decrease in proportion to the floor plan. If the floor plan increases or decreases, then so does the, if the floor plan increases in size or decrease, just a point form, 
and so does the bar scale increase or decrease in proportion okay so that's very important to point out when you are answering a question of this nature what length does the above mentioned scale represent so I mentioned that the 0 and the 3 meter should be here so therefore that length would be 3 meters 11.3 which bedroom will receive sunlight when the Sun is about to set so we need to look for our cardinal points and we notice that the north is shown in that direction so our north would be north then therefore this would be south and then our west would be here and our east would be here so if our Sun is setting so basically Sun would set in this direction so this would show that bedroom 2 would be the bedroom that gets the sunlight how many doors and windows does the plan have so if we had to look at the windows we have one two three four the five six seven eight nine and we have one that's over here that's ten so we have ten windows and the doors will be let's count it out doors this is a symbol for doors it's one it's two it's three it's four and that's five so five doors okay is the door of bedroom 3 a left hand or right hand provide an explanation so if you look at bedroom 3 which is here we notice that the swing of the door there's a swing of our door to open it is towards the right now in order for us to open the door we need to use our left hand All right and our explanation would be the swing of the door now you would obviously elaborate on this but just for teaching purposes I'll write it on in point form the swing of the door you'll mention right is moving towards the right and then therefore you will have to use your left hand to open it that's more or less what you would say but remember you'll elaborate on it write down the ratio of the bathroom to the bedrooms so keeping with the question your bathroom is to the bedroom right so let's count the bathrooms okay a bathroom we have this one bathroom there and there's another there okay so that would be two and our bedrooms would be one two and three so two is to three there's nothing further we can do to this so this becomes our answer okay so 11.7 .7, if the length of the east facing wall is measured to be 8 centimeters on the plan use the given scale to calculate the length of the east facing wall in reality so that's important here is the 8 centimeters on the plan right also just to remind you that this portion here was actually supposed to be here so the first thing we need to do is we need to measure the length of the basket and right, I've done that for you so you take your ruler and you measure it and we've got an answer of 2,8 centimeters so let's write that down 2,8 centimeters now remember that 2,8 centimeters represents 3 meters because it's shown at the end of the bar so what I need to do now is I need to cross multiply with the information I have right so they've told me that 8 centimeter is the distance on the plan so let's put my 8 centimeter down here this is on the plan right? and this would be a reality remember its map is to reality right so I need an answer in terms of reality so therefore my x is on that side so we're going to cross multiply this 
all right so let's cross multiply and we'll have 2,8x is equal to 8 times 3 all right so we'll have 2,8x is equal to 24 so we divide both sides by 2,8 Right, now we have x on the side and that would be 8 comma 6 and remember the reality measurement is in meters so my answer will be 8 comma 6 meters